Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to another Buzzing Chat Show here on Buzzing Pattaya. And uh, to uh, a topic I'm gonna cover today that came about from a message I received from uh, one of the guys that follows the channel who's had a particularly nasty breakup uh, with his girlfriend and things have gone very pear-shaped. Now, I'm not gonna go into their personal details, but it did lead me to think, do you know what? It's actually a really good topic because for a lot of us, we don't appreciate how much our relationships may mean to uh, the said Thai girl and what she's likely to do if you pull the plug. So we're gonna cover that today. Um, but before we get into that, just a couple of quick things. Do you like me, uh, me uh, dark shirt? I know I get grief about my shirts. I love it. Some people really take it to heart. It's like, dude, it's just a shirt. You're not gonna wear it, it's up to me. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So yeah, so just for you dark lovers out there, there you go. Um, but Discord, guys, jump on Discord. Uh, over 8,000 people on there now, fantastic. So please get on there, there's so much more information getting on there. Yes, I know I bang on about it. Yes, I know I mention it in every video, but I mention it for a good reason, and that is solely and purely because it really is a good platform. If you haven't checked out, there is a link in the description below. And what I'm gonna do is I did a, a chat the other day, and I, do you remember I put the uh, stock photo, uh, video, fo uh, video footage over the top of it? So I'm gonna do that again today, because a lot of people really enjoyed that. So uh, we'll just carry on with that theme. So, all right, let's get into it. Thai girls. Now, obviously we do appreciate that a lot of the time, most of the girls come here, they come here to work and they come here because they are looking to earn money and they are also looking to find that wonderful person that's gonna take care of them for the rest of their lives. And, you know, whether or not we, we agree with what they do or how they do it, et cetera, et cetera, at the end of the day, the most important thing to remember here is these girls are human beings. They have feelings, they have hearts, they have wishes, they have dreams, they have all the things that we all have ourselves. So, you know, it's important to get that point out straight away that, you know, these girls, yes, they do what they do. I know around the world it's frowned upon in many places, but it is what it is and that's what they do. But they are still entitled to try and find happiness and they are still entitled to try and have their dreams and realize their dreams and live a happy ever life, uh, life ever after. So of course, when they come here, <clears throat> excuse me, and no, don't panic, um, but when they come here, obviously, you know, we know it's a game. We know that you guys will maybe be a little bit economical with the truth in perhaps what you do for a living, etc., etc. And we know they'll be equal, you know, equally as economical with things like I've only started yesterday, you know. So we know the game. But, and here's the but, you guys need to really understand what to expect when you get into a relationship here. Because for many, many girls, it means far more to them than perhaps it really means to you. And I say that because if you think about when you're back home, for instance, you know, of course there are emotions involved. Of course there are, you know, there's two people, you're emotionally connected, you're physically attracted to each other, etc., etc. So there is, of course, always that aspect to your relationship. And, you know, things do come to an end eventually, you know, for some it doesn't, and fair play, but for most of us, myself included, you know, relationships do come to an end. But when that does happen, obviously, you know, parties are upset, be it you, you've upset her because you've called it a day or she's upset you because she's called it a day. But ultimately, you both tend to get on with it, you accept it, you may not like it, but you deal with it, you work out about living arrangements, you might be living together, maybe one of you is gonna move out or whatever, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, when push comes to shove, life goes on. And for us, it's, not so much a blase situation because it causes a you know, massive amount of heartache and, and upset. Of course it does, particularly if you've been in a long-term relationship. But at the end of the day, realistically speaking, let's be honest with each other, we get on with life. You know, we take it on the jaw and we just move on. Now, come out here to Thailand and get yourself involved with a Thai girl in a relationship. And you're now effectively jumping into a real potential firebomb. And I'll explain why. Firstly, you need to consider where did you find your newfound girlfriend? Did you find it in a normal environment or did you find it in the nightlife environment here? And it's an important factor because if you are finding your newfound love within the nightlife industry, well, you know why she's here, you know what she's looking for, and you know that it's potentially a game to start with that can develop into a much more serious relationship. And you could be that knight in shining armor that takes her out of the bar industry and gives her the hope that now she's gonna be taken care of for the rest of her life. So she's got a lot riding on this relationship. You might not think so, but she has. So let's just say that you've 
taken the girl out of the bar. And this video is pretty much aimed at this kind of situation, although it does happen in uh, non-nightlife industry relationships as well with Thai people, Thai women. But particularly here, so when you've gone into the bar and you've met this girl and you've gone off for a few days and you've had some time together and things have developed and you think, you know what, this is actually really cool. She's a lovely girl. I'm really digging her and you know things are working out and I'm really spending time with her and I find it's really, really enjoyable. You then get to that crux where you've got to say to her, well, where do we go from here? What do I do from here? And you can either walk away, and I know I've said this before about the three day rule, and this is another reason why, if you are not serious about a relationship out here, that you should try and honor the three day rule, because it will save you a lot of headaches in the, in the future. So if it's not serious, it's just a bit of fun. Do the three days and walk away. If you spent considerable time with the girl, remember she is gonna get feelings for you as well as you are gonna get feelings for her. But, and it's a big but, her feelings will be far more important to her than what your feelings will because you might just be having a soppy five minutes, a bit of lust, a bit of you know, fantasy world, whatever, knowing that you're going to go back home or maybe you're going to stay here. So establish the fact of where is this relationship starting from. If it's starting from the nightlife industry here, you've got to be very, very careful because there's a lot more riding on this than just a standard relationship that you might discover in another environment a different a different place so now figure out how long you've been together because if you've been together say a week or two weeks it's pretty dismissive okay you can you can walk away from those if things aren't starting to work you can pretty much turn around and say look sweetheart i've had a great time but I, you know make up some excuse you know say to her, you're going to go off to see some mates in phuket or whatever you know you, you can make up whatever excuse works for you but generally speaking, you can step away from that kind of short-term relationship with very little comeback. However, if you're here for a long term, maybe you're here for three months or you're here for six months, if you're living here, if you intend to live here, you know, all these, these situations that present themselves to you, eventually you need to dis decide in yourself where your relationship is going. And I say that because let's just say you've been with a girl for a month. Now to her, particularly if you've taken her out of a bar in the nightlife here, you've now caused yourself or created a situation that you need to be very, very clear about. And that situation is straightforward. You are saying to her, I don't want you to work in the industry anymore. I'm going to take care of you. And imagine being in her shoes. You know, you've come into the bar and she's seen you and you know you're looking at her thinking looking at the guy thinking oh you know he's going to be my knight in shining army he, he you know ticks all my boxes and he's having a great time and now now he's going to take me out of the industry fantastic he's going to take care of me we're going to build a house together we're going to have land together we're going to have a family you're going to take care of my kids that i've got from the, my thai boyfriend that run off and left me in the lurch and that's why i'm working here all that kind of emotion is going to run through her mind and to be honest with you it's expected and it's not unfair for her to think the way that she thinks. But if you're not prepared to understand that commitment that she's making mentally, as well as physically, but mentally she's making that commitment with you, if you're not prepared to take that on board and understand that that's the kind of situation you're now putting yourself in, you're gonna open up a, a can of worms when it comes to closure, if that moment happens. So if you've been with a girl for a month plus, I'm gonna say, there is potentially the chance for these things to happen that I'm gonna explain now. And I do talk from experience. Um, I was with a girl called Yaya, and, uh, and Nick, if you're watching, you'll remember Yaya. Um, Yaya was a little pocket rocket, and uh, she believed me, well, believe me or not, she was a Christian here. She followed the Christian faith. She used to go off and do her Sunday classes and all the rest of it, etc., etc. I know you're, you're raising your eyes now thinking, really, did he really fall for all of that, etc., etc. However, we, well, I called it a day. And I'd been with her about three months and uh, I was staying in John Tien and I said to her, look, this isn't happening. I'm not happy. I don't want to be with you anymore. There was a situation that happened in a go-go bar. I've covered that in the past where I caught her looking at another guy over my shoulder. And I thought, you know what? No drama, sweet cheeks. You can carry on doing what you want to do. I'm out of here. Unbeknown to me, that little pocket rocket turned into a blazing inferno she tried to attack me, uh, which didn't work. So then she attacked herself, believe it or not. She punched herself in the face, 
made her nosebleed, she ripped her blouse, she was shouting and screaming, she was smashing the apartment up. And in the end, I thought, right, I need to get out of here. So I went down to the uh, security guard, I said, look, mate, can you please go up there and sort this out? Because it's all going tits up. And she, you know, at the end of the day, it was just an apartment, so I wasn't worried about that. But when she was abusing herself and stuff, I didn't want to put myself in that position where I could be very vulnerable. So he went up there. Next thing I know, the police have arrived, and I was really worried. I was really quite scared, to be honest with you, because it was a you know, massive problem. There she is, ripped, ripped clothes, blood pouring out of her nose and everything, going ballistic and shouting and screaming. And fair play to the policeman. You know, they sat down with me. I had zero marks on my body. I had zero blood on my body. There was nothing to do with me whatsoever. And they were very, very good. And they said, look, can you please put her stuff together for you? And we'll take her away and, and you know, we'll get her medical care, etc. And, and that'll be it, which they did. But because that situation happened, then she starts stalking me. She starts waiting outside the condo she starts ringing me all the time at all hours of the day and night be it when she was drunk or be it when she was angry all these kind of situations happen and it really did become very very tiresome to the point where that's when i decided i was going to move out of the condo because i would come back and at like 11 12 o'clock at night she'd be there waiting outside and you know sometimes i'd have other company with me etc etc it's back in my very early days of being out here but it was a complete shock how ballistic she went on the basis that I just said, look, you know, it's not working. And even more so because she was looking at another guy in a go-go bar. And I thought, you know what, I really, I'm not really that, that into you. And you know, if that's what you want to do, uh, well, we'll just call it a day, no dramas. Like I say, back in England, no dramas. And she went absolutely off her head. And you know, Nick, if, Nick, if my mate Nick's watching this, he'll, he'll verify this story. She went absolutely ballistic, absolutely off the, off the rocker. So it does happen. So, let's now let's bring this back to you guys so you're with a girl and you want to finish it i'm going to tell you now you need to expect these things number one number one things could get very volatile very quickly okay ties are very highly strung the girls you know you look at these girls and you think oh she'd be all right trust me you i've, I've been in go-go bars where i've seen customers get themselves in trouble and the girls have kicked off in there and you do not want to see these girls go on one because trust me they they will think nothing absolutely nothing about picking up the nearest object and smacking you around the head with it. They really, really will not think twice about it. So you could be in a situation where you're going to face a very volatile person if you're going to call it a day. So be prepared for an aggressive ending. It may happen. It's better that you're prepared and, and expect it than don't expect it and it suddenly blows up in your face because then you're going to be acting on instinct and that may not be a good thing, particularly if you get yourself in a bit of a confrontation stalking i mentioned earlier about yaya stalking and this is one of the reasons why you've got to be very careful when you bring a girl back to your hotel because if you go back to your hotel or to your condominium wherever you're staying they now know where you live and that is a fact so if you've been in a long-term relationship and you know you might be staying in a hotel or a condo for three months it, it happens it's not an issue if you're out here on a, on a long stay holiday then if you've been with a girl, and I'm talking about, you know, three or four weeks of a, of a relationship and you call it a day, they do have the ability to go mental at you. So because they know where you live, they will stalk you. They will sit in reception. I mentioned about Apon that stayed in reception in my very first ever bar find here in Pattaya. She stayed, she sat, used to sit in the reception in, in the White Rose Hotel down in Walking Street. And I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, I'll come see you. I'm like, no, I don't want you to come see me. Like, you know, I'll come and see you, etc., etc. So be prepared for stalking. And if you're living here, that's a problem because they will, they'll know where you drink. And, you know, again, don't take these girls to where you normally socialize because they will just chip up. You know, I'm not going to name names, but a, a very, very good friend of mine had a relationship. It went pear-shaped and she used to come into his work and cause all kinds of issues so you know they do cling on to these relationships far more than perhaps we probably realize phones you know people say to me well it doesn't matter i can just I'll, I'll change my phone i've had the same phone for 10 years for me to change that phone number now would be catastrophic so i don't want to do that so, now it doesn't affect me because obviously i'm with mo and i don't have an issue but if you've got a long-term phone that you've had here and you know if you want to play around you want to you know maybe have a separate phone whatever be prepared because they will call you at all hours of the night 
they will just be relentless. Remember, this is the nightlife here. So they're used to being up and around at three, four, five, six o'clock in the morning, and they will pest you. Yes, I know you can put your phone on silent. Yes, I know you can put your phone, turn it off. But if you've got family back home or you've got commitments back home or work commitments, maybe it's not practical to turn your phone off. So just be prepared. Unannounced visits. That's another issue you're gonna have. So I mentioned about uh, my friend where the girl would come to his work. You know, be prepared. If you finish with a girl, be prepared for them to be banging on your door. Sometimes they might be under the influence of alcohol and it might be like two, three in the morning, they're just smashing on your door. Oh, I wanna see you, I miss you. Tillac, 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 and all that kind of stuff. Be prepared because ultimately, you know, you've gotta look at what's on the line for them and what's on the line for you. You might come here, you're financially viable, you've got no issues with your money, you're, you're happy with what you're doing, you've got your lifestyle planned out, etc., etc., etc. You meet this girl, she becomes the love of your life for that moment in time when you think things are gonna progress, but what actually happens is you get bored or things don't work out or this, you know, the, the, the lifestyle changes are too much for you to adapt to. But for her, you are, you are that knight in shining armor. You are that person that's walked into her life, swept her off of her feet. What was that film with, um, oh, what's his name, Richard Gere? Something, woman, was it pretty, was it pretty woman? Yeah, pretty woman. You know, you sweep them off their feet. Remember that these girls get no support. They get zero support. So if, and you know, I, I say it with a tongue in cheek here, but a majority of the girls here have already had children. And unfortunately, the children are most likely from Thai men. And you may or may not be aware, but the Thai men, generally speaking, do a flip. And there is no, there is no support for the girls whatsoever. Hence why mum and dad look after the baby. And she's sat down here in one of the agoga bars trying to earn money. But of course, when you come in and you sweep her off, your, uh, off her feet, now her world is changing. Her world has gone from being working in the bar every night, night after night, hour after hour, etc 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 to now having this one guy that's possibly going to change her life forever that relationship comes to an end her world has just collapsed and she's going to cling on to that world as much as she possibly can and emphasize in every single way possible how important the relationship is for her with you so expect the outburst expect the tears expect the you know, the visits in the early hours of the morning the counts amounts of telephone calls, et cetera, et cetera, possible violence and, and physical assault, expect it all, because trust me, it happens out here. Now, I know you guys watching this video, I'm sure some of you maybe have experienced a volatile ending to a relationship that in your mind was just a, oh, come on, sweetheart, it's only a bit of fun, you know, don't get so angry and upset about it, but to her, she's gone completely off the rails, and you're like, wow, like, where did that come from? So it comes from the fact that this means far more to them than what it probably means to you at the early stages. So what I will do guys is ask you as always, please, is just to share any experiences. You know, if you don't want to put yourself, just call you, you know, I, I know a mate and, uh, you know, make up the names or whatever, it doesn't matter. But it, what would be really good is, sorry, excuse me, uh, what would be really good is to just share your experiences. Perhaps you've got a personal experience or you generally do know a friend that's had a particularly bad experience. Now, I told you about Yaya. You know, if you'd have seen a picture of Yaya, you would never believe me. You would never believe me. If you saw her, she was tiny, five foot two, five foot three, little pocket rocket, stunningly beautiful. And she went absolutely ballistic at me, <laughs> like, like seriously ballistic. Anyway, so the point being, guys, please share your stories. And um, as I say with everybody, guys, you know, if someone shares a story, please, guys, be respectful to each other. You know, I don't like it when people come and they start slating people. And, you know, I don't get to catch every comment, but I do see most of them. And if I do see, a, you know, a particularly vile comment to another person, you know, I, I won't I won't leave it on there. So please, guys, be respectful to each other. That's what makes the buzzing community so good is that, you know, we share stories, we share experiences. We can all learn from each other, you know. It really is a great platform. So thank you very much for sharing those. And if there's anything you want to send me directly, a story you'd like me to read out that perhaps you don't want to share uh, from your own um, YouTube name, whatever, you know, email me 247pataya at gmail.com and I will happily uh, read them out for you. All right, guys, hopefully, I don't know if you saw my other video I did recently, which was uh, the three ways that uh, will destroy you here in Pattaya, but I've, I've uploaded it to YouTube and 
all the sync, the audio and everything went out of sync. And I don't know why, because the actual video recording itself was spot on. And when I downloaded it from Premiere Pro, it was spot on. I've uploaded it and I don't know, it's got a bit of a glitch. So hopefully this one will be better. Um, but yeah, don't know what happened there. Sorry guys, that was out of my control, unfortunately. Um, so anyway, so yes, I hopefully you've enjoyed the stock footage that I've been throwing around in this video while I've been talking to you. Uh, as always, guys, remember, please have a, have a look at the members area. If you haven't already, have a look. Please have a look there. Uh, if you want to support the channel, I think it works about 89 pence a month. And you get access on Discord. If you haven't got on Discord, get on there. But you get access to behind-the-scenes videos and photographs that I take when I'm out in all the go-go bars, etc. And will be going out soon. We hope not too much longer. I really pray and hope that that will happen very, very soon. Um, so if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link in the description. Please, guys, jump on Discord. I know I go on about it like I'm an old woman, but it really, really is powerful. You know, I'm sure people on there, we organise like boat party trips. We organise like ATV buggy trips. We've organised bar crawls, all those kind of things. They're all in Discord. So please, guys, jump in and be a part of that. And uh, as always, please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. All right, that's it, guys. If there's any topics you'd like me to cover, uh, again, please email me because that'd be much appreciated. It'd be nice to get some, some ideas from you guys, things you'd like me to talk about. And if I can help, I will. If I can't, well, then I'll find it out for you. All right, that's it for me. Thank you very, very, per, per, thank you very much for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. <laughs>